Livid LCD is an amazing companion for your scripted audio software and Livid controller. For example, with Ableton Live, the bass remote script, and a Livid bass, Livid LCD will keep in touch with your set to display all the current scripted mappings on your controller on any screen with a browser. That means you can use your phone to label your sliders, or use a tablet to keep track of all the functions of your controller, or use another computer with the browser open to view all of the mappings for your bass. Let's take a look. I've opened Livid LCD and have a blank live set open with the Livid Bass script selected. As instructed in the main screen, I'll enter the URL in my browser. The QR codes here make it easy to open on a phone or tablet, but for this video I'll show most of the results on the computer's browser. I can now open a set in live and we'll see the UI update in the browser. The display is designed to match the physical layout of the base with the function button labels on the right, the sliders above the pads, and the pads taking up the majority of the screen. There's also a display on top that keeps you informed of device name and keyboard arrangements for the pads. When you change modes, all labels are updated, keeping you constantly in sync with what is mapped to the controller at any time. In clip launch mode, the pads update with all the clip names, which makes LCD a fantastic companion for keeping up with all the clips in your session view. There's a few really obvious benefits to LCD. First, it's great for learning how to use the bass and the live remote script together. We admit it, the bass can do a lot in live, and when you first use it, it has a bit of a learning curve to find all the things you can do. For example, it helps to have a constant reminder of which button is up and which is down when navigating your clips. And it's nice to know that you can get around devices from the controller itself, even in chains and in banks. Also really great, you can customize the view for different screens. I have a few old iPhones around which make nice displays for the sliders. I can use the configure panel here to isolate the sliders and size them as needed and put them next to my base. There's plenty of room for the device name and scale info too. Similarly, if I wanted to keep track of the side buttons, I can isolate that view and use another screen. So there's actually a lot of cool things you can do with this, depending on what devices you want to use and how you want to view the information on the base. Uh, some people probably will just find it marvelous to be able to label the sliders so you know what slider is mapped to what effect or parameter. I think you'll find it really helpful for keeping track of what's going on in your set when using your controller.